This is Philip uh, with an update of the LEGO test machine number two. And it's all assembled, the mechanism is working, uh, no sensors yet, and uh, here's some news about it. This is the new, uh, new iteration, uh, everything's there except the sensors to see if uh, the LEGO is either on or off, but all the mechanism is uh, working and I'll show you uh, a demo of this uh, in a second. Um, basically there's more parts. Uh, I had to make this tower stronger so there's a brace here and also I had to put a brace at the bottom because the whole thing was kind of flexing too much. I've added a switch. I don't know if I mentioned it before so uh, when I power the Arduino it doesn't just start. There's a uh, uh, just the setup uh, loop and then I can start or stop uh, the whole thing. Uh, I had to tweak a little bit uh, this assembly here so that it would do its job better and uh, other than that I think I'm just gonna run it so that I can show you uh, how it uh, works right now. So I have my two powers this is a uh, 9 volt and I have a uh, 5 volt so I'm gonna do so at first it does a uh, reset so resets gonna move everybody back to their position they're just gonna show it again so reset so everybody's back to their position and it checks that the Lego is well attached so when I start it the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna position like that and remove the Lego then it checks that it's off then it's going to put it back and then it's going to check that it's on and uh, that's the whole loop so remove check that it's off assemble and check that it's on so I'm going to move the uh, this closer so you can see uh, detail So that movement uh, where this is on top and it removes the brick, that's the tough, the toughest thing to set. And uh, that little bolt here is, uh, came really handy in the end to has a gripper so that this really pushes hard. So that's the whole thing and I can stop it basically uh, in, uh, somewhere in its movement and then I can just reset and everybody takes his position back and then it's ready to go so I'm gonna test it with uh, uh, the pair that was used with the first machine so that I'm gonna make sure that uh, when a Lego uh, when the two bricks can't hold it actually works where there's no way to put them back together so uh, I can see uh, when the basically a test is over so I'm going to validate that with uh, uh, these and um, to be able to know if it's on or off I have to put a uh, sensor so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you here I have a little test here so uh, what I have is uh, I'm going to have just a little light sensor and a um, uh, just uh, some LED, a blue LED and the uh, blue LED is going to point at the light sensor so I have uh, I have a way to know if there is uh, light or not and the light is going to be right here so I'm going to show it to you so there's holes all over those beams so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, this little light sensor uh, right into one of the holes just underneath actually it's going to be right here underneath the Lego just like that and the little light is gonna be like somewhere here maybe on the other side so we don't hide the Lego but uh, the idea is that when it's up uh, the lights gonna go into the hole and uh, then I'm gonna know that the Lego is still attached to the top one and if it didn't go up with the top one or if it falls it's gonna fall here hopefully and then it's gonna hide the light and then I know that it it did not stay attached and that's how I'm gonna know if it's uh, on or off so that's it and um, 
Now I'm gonna do the sensor part and uh, do some testing.